So you want to become a master ethical hacker? Well then, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke Dexter. I'm a 28 year old penetration tester with 13 years of experience in this space. I'm excited to bring you this channel where we're gonna be performing all sorts of crazy, cool, weird content, doing things that you didn't even know existed in this space. So like, subscribe to the channel, and grab your hack top and get ready to take some notes because I'm going to get you career focused and center ready to take on a role as a penetration tester, a red teamer, what have you, and get you professionally working in the cybersecurity industry as a whole. So stay tuned. It takes many skills to become a master ethical hacker and build a true career, especially at this day and age. First up, in terms of those skills, we're gonna go over networking. Every hacker has to know networking. Understand the elements of the TCP slash IP model and what it encompasses. Most importantly, protocols and ports decide on how efficient of a hacker you are. In time, you will relate protocols to their associated port with ease. Knowing how a network packet is created and sent off into the wild will also help you develop your own tools later down the line. Having foundational network knowledge is critical to any modern day hacker. Next up on our list, operating systems. As a hacker, mastering the intricacies of operating systems is crucial to your success. Your journey will likely begin with Kali Linux, renowned as the most user-friendly and powerful hacking distributions available. Understanding the file system hierarchy and mastering everyday Linux commands will form the backbone of your skills. Linux is not just a tool. It's a versatile platform that hosts a multitude of distributions, each serving unique purposes. Embracing Linux will be indispensable in your everyday life as an ethical hacker. However, the landscape does not stop there. Proficiency in Windows and Mac OS is equally vital. Windows, with its widespread usage, presents a myriad of potential vulnerabilities, making it a prime target for attackers. Familiarizing yourself with Windows command line tools, PowerShell scripting, and network configurations will allow you to uncover weaknesses and fortify Windows systems effectively. On the other hand, Mac OS has its own set of challenges. While often perceived as secure, it is not immune to exploitation at all. Understanding Unix-based commands within Mac OS, along with its unique security features, will equip you to identify and quickly address vulnerabilities. In today's diverse computing environment, a well-rounded hacker must be adept at navigating and exploiting the nuances of all three major operating systems. Your journey into ethical hacking will be marked by a deep understanding of these platforms, allowing you to approach security challenges from multiple angles and emerge as a formidable force in the cybersecurity landscape. Next up on our list, tools. A hacker is defined by the tools he uses. Each one of us have our preferences and eventually our own tools to automate our tasks. Many different tools exist, each with their own use and style of operation, which we call syntax. Becoming a master does not mean remembering every command for every tool, as you will always be performing research in your job regarding the tools you are using. All tools range in difficulty, but the following are so common that mastery over them is a must for your career. Number 1. Metasploit Metasploit will help you more in your learning process than the real world, although it has so much built-in functionality that you must know how to use it. Metasploit is very easy to use and is like a quick hack tool for penetration testers. While it is more likely to fail in a highly secure environment, it is important to know that most environments are not secure. Therefore, Metasploit presents quick and easy options to get the job done, and you will conquer the network with exploits, easy reverse shells, and more from this tool. Number 2. Nmap Nothing performs recon better than an Nmap scan. This network scanning tool is used to find open ports in a network or on the internet. Nmap has a scripting engine to include additional functionality and provides a wide range of options when scanning opposing hosts. Use Nmap's highly memorable syntax to create customizable scans directly from the terminal, or try Zenmap for an easy to use graphical user interface. Number three, Burp Suite. Burp Suite is a leading web application security testing tool. It's used by professionals to identify vulnerabilities and analyze network protocols. 
It functions as a proxy server and intercepts traffic between your browser and the website you are testing. You can modify values and data at whim, which is a wonderful tool for bug bounty hunters. Number 4. Wireshark Wireshark is a widely used network protocol analyzer that allows users to capture and interact with packets traveling across a network. It provides deep insights into network traffic by displaying packets in real time, which can be filtered and analyzed for by hackers. Wireshark can be used to capture passwords being input to insecure websites and DNS requests, allowing for effective spying against hosts. Number 5. Aircrack NG Suite Your first piece of hardware will likely be a network card with monitor mode capabilities. Aircrack NG, which we likely just call Aircrack, takes this hardware and documents packets over wireless signal. With a network card that successfully supports monitor mode, use the Aircrack suite to capture password hashes over the network and crack them later with your favorite hash cracking tool. Number 6. Hashcat Hashcat is a powerful password cracking tool. It utilizes the processing power of its local system to crack hash passwords. Its great strength lies in Hashtopolis, a distributed password cracking tool, which allows hackers to tie the processing power of multiple computers in together, effectively creating a supercomputer style password cracker. Number 7. LinPs and WinPs these tools are automated privilege escalation enumeration scripts designed for Linux and Windows systems, respectively. After a hacker compromises a host, he or she can then upload and run this tool to discover weaknesses in the operating system and its configurations. From there, they can work towards obtaining root access and own the system. Number 8. Census and Shodan while these are more of websites than tools, Census and Shodan are web crawlers on constant lookout for vulnerable devices across the internet. This is valuable to pen testers because it allows them to perform passive reconnaissance, meaning no direct interaction with the target systems. Number 9. The Social Engineer's Toolkit, also known as the SET. The SET is a free framework for penetration testers designed for social engineering. It focuses on exploiting human psychology to bypass security measures rather than technical vulnerabilities. This allows the hacker to perform phishing attacks with ease, as well as harvest credentials and deliver payloads. Number 10. Evil Engine X2 One rare but powerful tool is Evil Engine X2. This tool acts as a man-in-the-middle attack framework that allows attackers to bypass two-factor authentication by intercepting session cookies. As you grow in your career and run into two-factor authentication issues, you will likely become seasoned with this very powerful tool. Next up on our list, important concepts. Number 1. Penetration testing. Hacking, ethical hacking, and penetration testing all encompass the same idea. However, you should always try to refer to your position as a penetration tester. Penetration testing, which we also just call pen testing, is where ethical hackers simulate real-world attacks on systems to uncover vulnerabilities before malicious hackers can exploit them. By mimicking the tactics of cyber criminals, we identify weak points and help organizations bolster their defenses. Number 2. Network security. This encompasses protecting the integrity and usability of networks and data. From firewalls and VPNs to intrusion detection systems, effective network security is vital for safeguarding sensitive information. On this channel, we will show you how to set up secure infrastructure for red teams in everyday life. This is essential to becoming a better hacker. Number three, reconnaissance and OSINT. We'll explore reconnaissance and OSINT throughout this channel also known as open source intelligence. This phase involves gathering information about a target before launching an attack. Ethical hackers utilize publicly available data, such as social media profiles, domain records, and other online resources to map out potential vulnerabilities. Using the internet to collect information on your targets will become second nature, and it is an incredibly valuable skill for a wide range of professions. Number four, cryptography. Cryptography is the backbone of secure communications in the digital world. By encrypting data, we ensure that even if it's intercepted, it remains unreadable to unauthorized users. 
Cryptography is its own realm in cybersecurity, and hackers who have at least some understanding of it can work against it. Number five, web application security. Web application security is crucial in our increasingly online world. Vulnerabilities like SQL injection, cross-site scripting, and cross-site request forgery are valuable finds for a hacker. Ensure that you get to them first. Number six, social engineering. Social engineering is where attackers exploit human psychology rather than technical flaws, as we talked about with the SET program. Phishing, pretexting, and baiting are common tactics used to gain sensitive information. Remember, becoming a proficient hacker does not mean mastery over your own mind, but others as well. Number seven, malware analysis. Like cryptography, malware analysis is its own realm as well. Understanding how malware operates is essential for developing effective defenses. By analyzing malware, ethical hackers can learn its behavior and create strategies to protect systems. In certain engagements, malware may be a permitted attack vector, but having malware on hand is questionable at best. The best malware analysts have deep knowledge of operating systems and assembly language, making this a career path all on its own. Number eight, incident response. Incident response can be quite irritating, but it is critical to an organization. When a security breach occurs, quick and effective action is paramount. Incident response, abbreviated as IR, involves detecting the incident, mitigating damage, and recovering systems. Your goal as a pen tester is to become a well-rounded security professional, so make sure to participate in these events and know how they go down. This is also valuable knowledge for any red teamer. Number nine, exploit development. This involves creating code that takes advantage of vulnerabilities in software to execute unintended actions against a system. Understanding the underlying architecture and behavior of software is crucial for ethical hackers. You will inevitably run into buffer overflows, which will start your journey into the realm of exploit development. Mastery over hacking often starts here, and you would be best to perfect the craft. Number 10 compliance and regulations. As we get older and our minds less sharp, you will likely want to continue your career in a less taxing role. Many CISOs and senior management likely have some level of pen testing knowledge, yet they moved away from it because they burned out. Taking a management position is therefore a valid career move. Understanding laws like GDPR, HIPAA, and PCI DSS ensures organizations meet legal requirements while protecting sensitive data. This will help you as a penetration tester and as a manager. Keep in mind that this is almost its own realm as well, so learning small bits along the way will help you tremendously throughout your career. Last on our list, programming. In the realm of ethical hacking, mastering programming languages is your key to unlocking a deeper understanding of systems and vulnerabilities. Here are the top five languages that every aspiring hacker should command. Number one. Python. Python is your go-to language for rapid development and automation. Its simplicity allows you to write scripts quickly, making it essential for tasks like penetration testing and data analysis. Number two, JavaScript. JavaScript reigns supreme in web application security. Understanding this language empowers you to identify vulnerabilities like cross-site scripting and cross-site request forgery, giving you an edge in securing web environments. Number three, C and C++. These two languages are the foundational languages for understanding system level programming. Proficiency here allows you to dissect binaries and analyze exploits, exposing weaknesses at their core. It is critical for malware development, malware analysts, and penetration testers alike. Number four, Ruby, which is the backbone of the Metasploit framework, is invaluable for developing and executing exploits. Its elegant syntax enhances your ability to craft powerful scripts that can then simulate real-world attacks. Then finally, SQL. SQL is critical for understanding database interactions. Mastering SQL helps you identify and exploit injection vulnerabilities, a common attack vector in today's applications. By mastering these languages, you equip yourself with the tools necessary to navigate the complex world of cybersecurity making you a formidable defender against ever-evolving threats.
Now that you know what it takes to become a master ethical hacker, it's time to get out there and prove yourself. Becoming an ethical hacker is a highly rewarding career path. Become good and you will soon earn the reputation you so desire. I may also state that this career is at times intense and exhausting. It takes a mind of steel to be truly proficient with the craft. Make sure that you develop skills in every area of tech that you possibly can, as well as forge valuable connections along the way. Like, subscribe, and prepare a hack top for yourself. We have many projects to make and tutorials to go through, so make sure to stay tuned.